Well, in case you missed it, I just got cut off right there at the very end, but that was the answer to that one um, for the bacteria count problem. So it would have been 3.519 comma 9.301. All right, that's that. Now let's move on to 9.3. We need to find the confidence interval for proportions. So let's see. We've got a politician, Mr. John C. Chips. Um, he, we go out and ask a thousand people, 550 say they're going to vote for him. We need to construct a 95% confidence interval. All right, so let's go to stat, go to the right to tests. Now you don't want a Z interval here. If you look at the formula here, it's got a Z in it. Maybe you can't see that. I'm going to scroll in so you can see. Those, those are Z's, but it's not the regular Z interval. This Z interval, number seven, is for the mean. Number eight is a T interval for the mean. We want a Z interval but for proportions. So let me go down, down. Hey, look at that one. Letter A. A one proportion Z interval. That's the one we want. So let me grab that. All it wants to know is what's X, what's N, and what's your confidence level. It's that simple. X and N make your P hat. Okay, so we went and asked a thousand people, and 550 said they would vote for him. So 550 is the x, a thousand is the n. N will always be larger than x. That's the way it's going to work in order to make a proportion. What's the confidence level we want? 0.95. Enter. There you go. Done. Simple as that. Okay, so it's 0 0.51917 comma 0 0.58083. And if you're interested, the point estimate for what proportion we think are going to vote for Mr. Chips is right here. It's p hat, which is 0.55. Okay, that's the p hat here. It's basically 550, there it is, divided by 1,000. X divided by N, there's the formula. Alrighty, that's the end of that. Let's see if there's anything else here that you guys need from a calculator. I don't think so. Awesome. Yeah, there's the chi-square one, but the chi-square one doesn't get done by the calculator, so you're stuck doing that one by hand, I'm afraid. Alright, we are finished with Chapter 9. I hope it was enjoyable for you, and I'll see you back here for Chapter 10.